guys, CT Pete, back for round two of week 97. And starting off at Oak Hill, almost caught me there, it looked like windswept. Three headwind. This is tricky. So my play is to go underneath that tree. This wind is going to lift me and flip me over. And sure did that. And we are way back. 257 playing like closer to 300. So I'm going to go backhand river. Try and give it a little run. Hmm, almost close. I'm okay with this. That was a really difficult hole. Definitely a bonus eagle. Moving on. Wind is chilled out. But the you know, watching this back, these raindrops are super thick. I haven't played Oak Hill in the rain in a while. I don't know if I'm foreshadowing anything, but setting my aiming point and I just got beat down. And I think it might have been the raindrops. I've heard that heavy rain will affect the flight of your disc. I'll have to keep that in mind next time. Looks like we've the weather's cleared up. Grabbing the light skip. We've got a right to left wind. Making sure we get back over to the right side. Pretty, pretty good. Grabbing at least one eagle out of Oak Hill. Stepping over to Grizzly. Another tough wind situation. That tree that I usually aim at is waving in the wind. I know I'm going to need more hyzer than usual, so I'm adjusting my aiming point a little bit to the left and adding that hyzer. I just got caught up a little bit, but we're inside 100. This should be manageable, but three wins is going to be tricky. Got kind of a formula that I, I follow and just tweak, make little minor tweaks to my height or my power based on elevation change, distance, and level of wind. And speaking of, I kind of took cave to cave for granted here. Didn't put any Anheuser on that recoil forehand, but I got away with it. Got away with one that time. Still getting our birdie. Definitely wiped the sweat off my brow. And this hole, just gotta make sure you don't get into too much trouble off the tee. That's just fine. With a tailwind, I'm not even, I'm not really gonna think about running this. I don't wanna push deep. Going forehand, make sure we get up there, but not getting too frisky. Right, let's see what they got for us for the final three. Crow's Nest. This hole I just play mid, lay it up. Not trying to run that ace. Definitely not in the Pro Tour. Maybe multiplayer if I was down one or something. And coming over here, just gotta focus up, make sure not to screw this one up. Plenty of distance and almost a little run at the basket. It sits. 
Nice to get an eagle in at Crow's Nest. Feeling pretty good. And gotta remind myself after yesterday to not take the last hole for granted. Went off the wall and missed the tree. And sticky. We're good though, 45 feet all day. 1026, 12 down. I'd say we left, you know, one stroke out there. Would have been nice to get one of those other Oak Hill par fours, but that's okay. Looks like Yoshi did just that. And he's sitting there up top. Killing it this week. Nick Beast right there as well. Shooting a 12. Let's see. Ken VRC, I think I recognize that name. Lots of Huck Squad up here. And this is a little bit early, so I'm not sure where Erdizzle is or a couple of those other 15s, so you'll have to check out Huck's coverage. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.